Hey guys, welcome to my second video on game development. This video will be a bit shorter because I'll just be going over the things I've added since the previous video. Um, some of the things I've added for this video will be things like the world map, a skill tree system, as well as a few other smaller things. So without further ado, let's take a look. Just gonna log into the game here. So first I guess I'll show the world map system. So when we press M, it'll bring up a world map that we can kind of pan around as well as zoom in and out. And this is basically just the map of the world of all the systems that are connected to each other. So we can jump to different systems that are adjacent to our system. Um, and we'll see that by the jump button uh, becoming enabled there. And basically all the systems have names but we don't see them yet because we haven't explored them. And then blue systems are kind of allied systems whereas red are controlled by the enemy that we have to kind of take over. And gray systems are just uh, neutral, um, neutral systems. So let's look at what it looks like when we jump from another system or from our current system to another system. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so I just kind of scripted a an animation there where a ship speeds up and jumps to another system. Another thing you'll notice is obviously the asteroids are now looking like asteroids rather than the beautiful cubes that I had before. I'm very sad that those cubes are now gone. I worked very hard on those cubes, but alas, the asteroids look much better. <laughs> um, so the next thing I'll show is a speed boost skill. If you double tap uh, forward, we'll temporarily boost our speed and kind of burst forward. That'll be a skill that you can learn later, and it'll have a cooldown, and you can use that to kind of escape or chase down uh, enemies. So that's uh, kind of a, the basics of the speed boost that I've added. Also added zooming. You can zoom in and out to a certain extent the game world. So here we're looking really closely at the, the asteroid, and here we've zoomed out. Um, the background, you'll notice, doesn't change, but uh, as we add more parallel or parallax uh, layers in the background, they'll all change based on the zoom as well. So it looks more uh, realistic, 3D-like. And another thing, I've redesigned the GUI for the ship and uh, weapon overheating. Before, we just had uh, red and blue bars. Um, now it's basically a blue circle represents our shield and a green kind of outline of our ship that represents our hull. And as we take shield damage, um, I'll show you what that looks like. It kind of fades opacity. And if we take hull damage, it will fade our hull from green to red. So that's kind of what it would look like if you took damage, and there'll be numbers on there indicating the percents as well. And then the weapon overcharge or overheating is just a stack, stacked set of 10 bars that slowly increase and change colors to red. And when it overheats, it blinks uh, two different shades of red there. So, some GUI redesign there. And then also a quest tracker text you'll see up at the top. When we destroy five asteroids, it'll turn green and play a quest complete sound. And then I've also added the beginnings of the skill tree, which is look looks like this right now. So basically there are three different um, trees. The lower tree is our weapons tree where we have beams and cannons, kind of as our two starting points. And we also have launchers which will be used for missiles. 
and the beams and cannons you use by left clicking and launchers will be right clicking at least by default and then there are also a couple activatable skills um, one for beams or a couple for beams the pulse charge and whirlwind beam skills as well as a rapid fire and cone cannon skill for the the beams or cannons rather and then there are also a couple launcher based skills that are kind of crowd control or area of effect skills for um, slowing down and disabling multiple ships and then lastly we have a kind of warhead skill that does a lot of damage so that's kind of my basic idea for the weapons uh, tree so far and then on the left subtree we have uh, the left tree we have hulls and shields and this is kind of our defensive tree. It also has some other kind of uh, subsystems for defense turrets and drone bays, and then a reflect skill that kind of uh, has a chance to reflect beams back at enemies, and then also an activatable skill that makes us immune to damage for a certain period of time. That'll be useful for avoiding lots of damage when the need arises and then the right subtree is kind of engines and reactors and this makes us uh, faster and it's kind of opposite of the shields tree because we can either be fast and avoid damage or just be a tank and take a lot of damage and then there's also the the speed boost skill which I, I showed earlier um, you just double tap uh, forward to do that and then there, there'll also be barrel rolls, which I still need to implement as well, which will kind of laterally uh, dodge, uh, and that's useful for dodging uh, boss attacks and other missile attacks. And then, yeah, final skill that's, as you can see, it's cut off right there. I'll have to fix that, but that's basically a way to boost all of the speed things for your ship. So that's kind of the basics of the skill tree so far. Um, yeah, it'll tell you your level and skill points that you have left to spend. So, yeah. That's the skill tree. Um, one more thing I added was control system. Uh, you used to have to turn your ship with A and D uh, keys, but now you, it just follows your mouse around. And if you move too quickly around, it'll reverse to the other other direction. So that's it's more intuitive, I guess, to use your mouse to control the the ship. And then also firing is just left clicking instead of space, so you can more accurately uh, fire fire your your weapons that way. So yeah, that's about it that I've added so far. So tell me what you think, and look forward to the next video. Next video I'll probably be doing uh, AI and enemy ships, as well as a 3D model for this ship, and barrel rolling for this ship. Those are kind of my highest priorities. So I'll work on enemies and AI next, and see what I, see what I come up with. So thanks all for watching, and uh, look forward to more. Thanks guys.